It's time once again for a poem dedicated to a donor to the 2013 Wasatch Wordsmiths in our campaign to get us to the National Poetry Slam in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This poem is for a great improvisational actor and an even better man, Chuck Charbonneau. Enjoy. Dear Nephew Joe, Thank you? I'm sorry to report that I'm not planning on fucking myself anytime soon, but I felt I should take a moment to respond to your thoughtful thank you letters. I worry that perhaps I may not have chosen the most appropriate Christmas gift for you this year. I was going to get you an autographed hardback copy of the book How to Be a Douchebag, but it looks like you've already read it. Fortunately, Amazon has an excellent return policy, and I'm sure I can exchange it for a delicious 10-pound assortment of gourmet cheeses, which should go perfectly with all your bitch-ass whining. Now, if you will indulge your favorite uncle, I feel inclined to impart a few simple words of wisdom to my loving nephew. If you're going to ride around on such a high horse, you should at least pull your head out of your ass first so you can see which way to sit in the saddle. Sure, I make more than you. I'll even let you call me rich. Not top 2% rich, but top 20%. And worldwide, so are you. The difference between you and me is a drop in the bucket compared to the difference between you and billions of peasants all over the world. Now, that doesn't mean you can't demand better compensation for public school teachers, but it does mean you don't get to call yourself poor. Everyone thinks they're poor. It doesn't matter what your percentile is. The only thing any of us pay attention to is how many barbecues the next door neighbor hosts and how new the car is parked across the street. I'm just Mr. Jones to you. Living in a neighborhood a little higher on the hill, just out of your reach, the carrot that keeps you distracted. Do you think I'm out of touch? I'm not the compassionate progressive making jokes about homeless people addicted to blow. Let me walk you down the streets of my childhood. When my parents told me of the American dream, you call a lie, they weren't bullshitting me. I didn't know the right people. I became the right person. I didn't work hard. I worked awesome. You'd be surprised at the power of picking the right major and not pissing off people that care about you. How's the whole fine arts degree and being a dick working out for you? What makes you think I'm the enemy? The core message of the socialism you spout is simple. We're all in this together. We need each other. So you want to shove a dildo up my ass? Go ahead. Just see if you can find room in there. Our political system may be set up to serve the rich at the expense of the poor, but it still finds the time to fuck everyone in the middle. And my rectum is chock full to bursting with barbed, kong-sized dildos for every time our liberal leaders make a compromise to cut my parents' health care, for every time they remove another program from my daughter's school, or for every time an angry young man forgets who his friends are, fills a sock full of panhandles, nickels, and comes looking for a fight with someone who's just trying to help him. Dear anonymous homeless gentlemen, if you still have them, I'll pay you 200 bucks for those Native American hand-carved driftwood napkin rings. By the way, they actually are cock rings. The guy that gave them to you just didn't have a big enough dick to fill them out. Thank you once again, Chuck Charbonneau. We're incredibly blessed to have you as a friend and supporter of the 2013 Wasatch Wordsmiths. And anybody else out there that would like to help us in our cause to get us to the 2013 National Poetry Slam in Cambridge, Massachusetts, please visit our Indiegogo campaign by clicking the link at the bottom.